Oh, it's amazing. O-N-S-F-W I love you. That's how we're going to end it. <laughs> Dude, I am so sorry for how crappy and inconsistent this Wi-Fi and, and connection has been, man. Throw me a I feel juice. like legitimately terrible. Did, were you able to hold it together? Was it funny? Uh, y- listen, it, it went in a lot of different directions. Uh, there was... We're going to have to redo that ad. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to redo the ad because uh, I said 10% because I've read the ad a million times. And then I got urgent communiques from Chad and Jammer B that it was not 10% but 20%. And so I went on the whole like, no, guess what, idiots? 20%. We're all going crazy. Attica, Attica. And then uh, as it turns out, it's 10%. So everybody, uh, sorry I overreacted a little bit. I had a little little bit too much spooky juice. Uh, it is ten percent. Wait, uh, and you wait. You, so, so wait. You started off saying it right, but people thought you were saying it wrong, and then uh, and, and and it's it's because I didn't know. I mean, I had no idea. So I said ten percent, and that was just my gut yeah. reaction. And and we didn't we didn't have the copy. Normally, we have copy next on the desk. But this is for this is our for show which one wasn't added. Uh, it th- this is for mail route. All right, you want you want to do it again, and I could be actually be here for it. I'm not kidding, you, man. Yeah, it was. It was harsh and terrible how bad the internet got for us on our end. And it's, it almost makes it worse that we were going out totally fine but just weren't receiving, right? I mean, it just ugh, it was rough. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, you want me to just take to this and then – or this and then this and then start it? Yeah, let's just start it right now. Uh, whoa, Jesus. Oh, no. I, I, that's some scary stuff. You know what isn't scary? mail route because you would be scared in your inbox you're trying to sit there like survivors in the zombie apocalypse what's outside what, the door it's the fighters it's like you're sitting there and then all of a sudden comes viagra spam oh v1 agra i used the one which tricked your spam filter yeah and i'll tell and you what here, that would be terrifying because i'm sitting there i'm a girl and i got a halter top on and my breast yeah. is just heaving out of it, and I'm like, oh, no, what's going to happen? I don't want to get my face eaten by the V1 Agra. And then meanwhile, on top of the house, boom, right in the face. I'm shooting you right in the face, Brian. Boom. Ah! But, uh, but then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, who's this? Oh, meet local singles coming at you. And uh, meanwhile... Hairs in my face. I'm a really hot girl, maybe like a Nev Campbell. And then I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to be local singles. This is irrelevant to my interests. Yet again, from the dead of night, boom, right in the face. Oh, but now, now the hordes, as if they were a team, you look out and they keep coming. They're all like, uh, buy gold today. And then they're all, uh, um, uh, I, I got to be honest. Um, I can't. I can't do this because we were. This is well, going because, great, man. We had like a whole no, bit. No, look, Wait, there was multi layers. We had characters. What happened? Uh, look, here's the thing: is in order to do this bit, I have to quote a bunch of spam things. But I, I, I don't get spam anymore. What, what, what do you mean? Why don't you get spam? Any? I mean, everybody gets spam. I mean, it's man. Like, I don't you know. I, I can quote like what spam was back in two thousand seven, but I don't. I don't see it anymore. So it's like, <laughs> like uh, vote for John McCain. Ah! Yeah, exactly. You, do you know why I don't have any spam anymore? Because I got mail route, man. What? You just edit your MX record. What are you these to- mail routes? Mail route? Are you kidding me? Mail route is the best thing to happen. In the world since, um, I would say penicillin, but that would only be for the last 120 years. I want to go back to, it's the best thing since uh, uh, unleavened bread. Mail route, that's their new slogan. The best thing since unleavened bread. Uh, and that goes back thousands of years, son. So wait, wait, what, does but, it, what does it do? The mail route, what does it do, Brian? What if you could unmake entire sections of your life? Like entire things that happen 
It just they they don't exist. So like when you get a brain place, injury. Yes, it's a mail route is like the best brain injury you could possibly get. What if you had a brain injury that all of a sudden destroyed your pessimism, your fear, your rage, and that memory of your coach that touched you once? This sounds How like a Sandra that- Bullock comedy. <laughs> so okay. Mail route will be this amazing brain injury. So Sandra your- Bullock's really mean at the beginning, and she's like, "Ah, you're fired. I don't like you." And she goes on a date, and she's really mean to somebody. You suck, and also you're poor. I'm Sandra Bullock, and the next thing you know, boom, right in the head by a rugby ball. She wakes up the next morning, and what is she like, Brian? She's like, uh, "I get no spam, and I don't know what you're talking about. Viagra, never heard of it. Um, Cialis." Uh, Levitra, I, I don't know what those things are because I'm not a a male with ED uh, in my mid fifties. I'm a woman, and I only get emails that are relevant to my interests now. And it's because of our friends at Mail Route. There we go. I bet you thought that that was a real movie. It's not. That's a metaphor for Mail Route. Mail Route blocks all the spam that's going to come into your life. You ain't even going to see it no more because if you run your own mail server and you can edit add, add your MX records, what are you doing, Brian? You uh, well, you edit. You're you're taking it to the max. Absolutely, you are. God damn it! Of course, and you can go ahead and get all these fancy services for uh, for ten percent off if you go go on over to mailroute.net and enter the promo code NSFW when you first sign up. Uh, Brian, um, what's up? I have uh, a dear friend of mine that used to do many of these same things. Unfortunately, he's at the setting sun point of his life and and i don't know where to go i'm sorry what uh yeah there's a person who did things but he's dying yeah Is that what you're saying? he used to do things similar to mail route uh he's my great uncle bostini oh bostini uh, i am dying yeah. now i am at a- the autumn of my years but You're Bostini talking about the great does not Bostini. want you to live in a prison of his affection. Go, you know what? go to mail route. Let me tell you, man, Postini was once great and powerful. He was the person on the walls stopping the demon hordes of spam. But not anymore, man. He's out of the game. And you know what? He's gonna he's gonna go peacefully. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, it is me, Bostini. I'm slowly dying. Please go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, because it sounded like you were, like, having an attack of something. No, uh, go he's ahead. He's going to quietly. Uh, All right, I'm sorry, Postini. This then, is, I'm trying to, trying to, trying to I'm talk sorry, about. I'm sorry, I'm dying. I could not control. I am very, very rude. Sorry, Postini, go ahead, Brian. Cool. Postini? Yeah. Take it easy, man. Okay. Postini? Okay. I'm sorry. Now, if you don't like, can, can I resume? Can go I ahead. resume? <clears throat> Postini is dying quietly. Restfully. Ah! Yeah. I'm sorry, Postini. Did that Look. come out? I thought that was just in my head. No, that was that was definitely you. Uh, definitely. A thousand pardons, a thousand pardons from me, Postini. Uh, okay, all right. You know what, Postini? There were things you were good at. You were great at handling spam. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But not so great at exits. No, okay. not so graceful. Okay. I'm Get sorry, I'm there. dying. I am very dead. I'm dying right now. To cut okay, me some right. goddamn slack. I'm dying. Okay. Postini, uh, may, may I continue? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Postini is, is <laughs> quiet. Postini Postini is dying and he needs you to find a new home with our friends over at MailRoute who thankfully are offering free Postini migration because you, Postini will not be there to stop the zombie hordes of spam from attacking you with their number. Oh, Postini, it's really, could you just die quietly? It's really driving me nuts. You're just always with it. And you're drinking. You're not supposed to. They said, they said for the treatments to have any chance of working, you can't keep drinking. And you 
Sorry, uh, I had, uh, fell asleep for a little bit. I feel okay. I'm still dying, but I feel a little bit better. You've done a great job, Brian. Postini is proud. <laughs> Mail route. They're the best thing ever. Use promo code NSFW. Beedly do. That was funny. So, <laughs> that I was better like, than the last ad read. <laughs> <laughs> that was, is uh, that was uh, oh, man. Nice read. Oh, uh, hey, is, Tom, is how you doing? I forgot you're still there. <laughs> 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 I'm just back in my normal clothes now. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Is there any other parts of the show you want to redo now that magically we have perfect, <laughs> consistent, awesome internet? You want to? You want to redo like the first half or so where I kept crapping out? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard <sighs> because we had we had like people on and we were talking and everything. Uh, so I mean, we look, can never really just. I mean, we can just BS and like have Tony. I mean, the problem is right, we can't look. have Tony weave stuff in because it's it'd be unreasonable to ask him to put it in between stuff. Well, by all accounts. The tweets I'm seeing are that you uh, nailed it as far as keeping the whole thing together, and it went delightfully off the rails, as, as many things do. But if that's the case, then let's just have a hell of a uh, after show. And at this point, I mean, to be honest, it's like this is just for me because if the audience was happy and you were awesome and the show was good, that's all that matters. But, like, I feel really bad that I was – that that the hotel kept us from getting in. No, that I mean, listen, it sucks because we only had so much time with 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 Romney, But uh, you know, it's uh, it was it was fine. It was it was definitely like it was kind of it was a fragile bit because we had so many moving parts. And by the way, thank you to to uh, Chad and, and Jammer B as as usual. Jammer B Jammer B's waving it off because Chad did uh, most of the work or all of the work. Uh, and and he does. Chad deserves all the credit because we definitely. I threw him like a Google Doc like five seconds before, and he also taped together all these spooky juices. And by the way, I had the idea, Chad, for the bit after it was already done. Yeah. What I should have done is, then everybody came on, just say like, "Oh, here's this. Oh, wait, you're on the internet. I can't give you. We have all these, Chad." <laughs> Why don't you drink? And then by the end of it, you should have pretended to be really drunk. That was the bit. But of course, I thought of it after the show, which is just It was hilarious. crazy how like everyone had a beer. It was also because everybody was drinking, which was funny <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um, they were like, oh, uh, Yeah, oh, man. Thanks. It's amazing how many times you were able to hand out a spooky juice and somebody had a matching spooky juice slightly off camera. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. That was. And we did not plan that. Um. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, no. It was. Hey, can it everybody, was a super everybody, fun throw show. a tweet Martin Sargent's way and let him know how much love it. Like, like that's not. I don't know if I got a little bit too real during that bit, but it's like I feel an irrational, very deep affection for Martin Sargent for for believing in me at that moment. I mean, it's like, you know, he was he was the host on on Unscrewed when I went and did that, and uh, he was the link that brought me to Revision Three. And uh, same for Joey Robbie. I don't know what ever happened to Joey Robbie. I should hit him up. Um, well, I'll tell you what. It was uh, it was very funny. And also, uh, however real you got, it was not as real as Martin got <laughs> as soon as uh, uh, Tom was revealed naked by way of Comcast. That was from the his, best. From his tech TV thing. That was a, an epic rant uh, of of only Martin Sargent proportions. Oh crap! Look, I I don't know how we can resist this. Somebody has asked us to break down Michael Jackson's Thriller, and it's Halloween night, and that thing is begging, begging to be broken down. Do you have time? What's your story? Uh, uh Tom, do you want to do you want to be with us as we break down uh the the Thriller video? I I suppose I can I can do a little breaking down. I feel We're break it on down. We're going to kick yeah, a root sure. down right here. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right, well, guys, listen, 
I'd love to hang out. However, uh, I have to get uh, packed for another week-long trip on the road. Yeah, you're headed to, to the swing states to cover the election for I us. I am. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm flying to uh, Ohio and then to uh, to Orlando for our election coverage. I'm going to be part of uh, the Twit election coverage on uh, election night Tuesday, and then um, yeah, I'm off to L.A. for Ryan, actually uh, you'll be able Blizzard. To hang out with us Tuesday. Um, I fly to L.A. on Wednesday. I'll be in L.A. Wednesday through Saturday. Today, I what, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, which means I go home tomorrow for one night, and then I go to New York. And we were talking about doing a uh, big meetup in New York, and then crazy thing happened. You'll never believe it. It was a bit of a storm. Uh uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Friday night, I'm in Dallas doing a gig. And then Saturday night, it's a school. And then I come home Sunday night. To be on Twit. Tuesday. Yes, I come home. I'm going to be on Twit on Tuesday. I'm on sorry, t- Sunday. Right, yeah. Plan on Tuesday Sunday. being there. Hold on. Yep, yep. Um, I actually have a show in Idaho on next no, Tuesday. No, Utah. I see what you did there. Funny. So uh, you're going to report and, on the election from Idaho. Got it. Yes. That's yes. actually another swing uh, state. I can I can confirm. Actually, you know what? Maybe that would be good. Let me see what time the thing is. I, I'm doing a lecture. Uh, the co- My controversial scam Sasquatch and the Supernatural lecture, the one that, uh, that they keep trying to shut down on YouTube because uh, they can't yeah. handle the truth in the lecture. Uh, they... Uh, I'm doing it at um, uh, Idaho State University in Moscow, Idaho. So maybe I will. Call maybe me. I'll call in. Did uh, uh, I threw away my vote? It was awesome. Uh, what you voted for, uh, Roseanne Barr and Cindy Sheehan? Yes, I did. Um. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I still have to. Have you not voted yet? I got my uh, my absentee ballot, so I just got to put it in the mail. I'll tell you what, man. Like voting does nothing except for buy you a coupon to morally righteously throw your voting in other people's face, and that alone is worth the price of admission. You should, you should. Do I that don't in. think you should vote if unless you have a compelling reason to. Don't vote and don't let anybody tell you you should. Cause... No, I think you should just vote for random crap. I think it doesn't matter. I think I think uh, your vote is insignificant, and you might as well throw it away on weird crap. Yeah, well, I agree, yeah. I mean, I say do whatever the hell you want, but just I hate people that are like, you need to vote. Screw that. If you don't want to vote, don't vote. They ain't your goddamn dad. Unless they are your dad. In that case, just sorry, just do what your dad says. I'm your dad. Vote. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, like, my vote in Florida counts, which is why I waited to get registered <laughs> in California. <laughs> so oh, wow. Actually... So you could participate in it. And that's the other thing is, man, everyone always gets bent out of shape like, oh, I'm going to vote for, I'm going to vote for, well, you know, Obama here in Texas. Like, Texas ain't going to go for Obama. I don't understand why you're bothering well, everybody to thought up. that, Brian, then, you know, the thing is, your vote locally really does count. Your yes. city councilman, yes. yeah. your local propositions, that's important stuff that no one pays attention to. They pay all this attention to the presidential vote, which I, I still believe it counts because they all count. Uh, but in the end, you're right, Brian. I mean, if, if everything goes as, as you expect, then some of these states are pretty safe for one candidate or the other, and your vote counts less. But you should go, in my opinion, you should go vote for your local stuff because that's the stuff that's going to impact your life. Oh, yeah, especially like the crazy, the crazy propositions and everything. Like, I actually kind of wish I could vote in California this term because the, all the – they have a couple. And the one the one that's big is the whole GMO thing, which I would like to vote in because uh, I do feel pro, strongly about one side. Oh, GMO. What, what's the GMO thing? Uh, it's a labeling thing. It's uh, a proposition that says that uh, certain GMO foods would have to be labeled. But like, I don't know. I, I, I have I have issues with it. I'm, it's very popular online. People think that it should be a thing. Justin and, thinks the labels are too long for him to read right now. Just I can't read first, so you know, there's that. 
Um, Dude. GMO uh, stands okay. for genetically modified. Um, yes. Uh, okay, which is dumb. Stuff. It's dumb. If you're somebody out there, I'm going to say this flat out. If you're somebody out there who feels like, oh, Franken foods and screw corn that's got genetically modified stuff, then stop eating corn, period, because corn would not exist in the wild except for outrageous crossbreeding that, uh, that was done over thousands of years. In the 1950s, the way we got most of our natural organic foods was by throwing them in nuclear radiation uh, to, to distort them and break them and create that's this bizarre true. community. What? I actually don't even disagree with you, but that's not true. Dude, we didn't, it is true. We didn't get our foods by throwing them into nuclear radiation. That's, dude, I, 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 I fucking... Whoa! Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to turn this into a belt moment. But that is that is that is how we did it. Is by throwing them in. Yeah, I, I'll give you this. You're you're poetically accurate. No, I, I'm literally accurate. We irradiated f- foods. I mean, unless the irrational optimist is full of lies. Unless you want to, if if you're accusing me of lying, you're not really accusing me. You're accusing Matt Ridley. Uh, of of lying and maybe he did but i don't think he did when he wrote in the rational optimist that the previous way that we experimented with foods was to heavily irradiate them and create all kinds of bizarre mutations and hope that we got some that were beneficial uh now the way we do it is much more strategic with genetic modification i don't know uh i mean i i i can believe that you haven't heard of this no, no, and, I have heard of it, and I, as I said, I don't even uh, disagree with you, but the way you were phrasing it made it sound like we took dump trucks full of food and poured them into nuclear reactors and then waited for the mutations to sprout and then chose them. Uh, go read The Rational Optimist it, to get Brian's it, point. That, that's all is, I is, is, is that not how it works? Because I thought... I was, I thought it, that's why I said you're poetically sure. Yeah, not? listen, Brian, uh, the worked. food pantry is really a series of dump trucks... Uh, and also it's a, a tube of a pyramid. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I think the labeling proposition is dumb. I now, don't this, know. How is this politics? Thing. People are saying we're talking politics and I'm just like the politics of food, Brian. That's, <laughs> I think food tastes good. I like eating it. Oh, such a liberal food tastes good. <laughs> oh, everybody should taste the same food. I'll tell you what, man. Like, I derive an insane amount of, of pleasure from getting it from both sides. Like, somehow Woo! it feels, feels right. Ooh, damn. Getting it from both sides. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> oh, this breaking news. Brian enjoys getting it from both sides. For coming, let's go to the man himself. If he's not already all plugged up, it's Brian Brushwood. Brian uh, I didn't come from no frog. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. He ain't come from that. Burp, 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 burp. Go ahead, Brian. I you like enjoy pleasure. getting it from both sides. Yes. I think yep. he said he gets an immense amount of pleasure. Oh, an immense amount of pleasure. <laughs> immense, ladies and gentlemen. Waves upon waves crashing on his sinewy form. Mmm. Both right, sides, I gotta, I gotta go, you say? Guys. Count I, I gotta... Brian in. All right, look, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up here. People are saying that, Brian, this is back to the BB Live show. It's the Bye Brian show. <laughs> I'm just going to leave by saying Android sucks, OS ten sucks, Windows sucks, uh, Palm sucks, Tom, Blackberry Tom, sucks. Tom. Tom. You're going Hollywood too early. You're still oh, in the Bay sorry. Area. Sorry. You got to uh, wait. Whole, you got to you got to oh. wait. Give it some time. Linux sucks. BOS sucks. CPM sucks. <laughs> uh, Vax VMS sucks. And, um, uh, Google Docs suck. Woo! And that's, yeah. Uh, Google like, Docs actually is legit pretty awesome. PC and DOS. even even the kludgy Alter. way that we use it for uh, on the show. Oh crap! Hey, we got to do opens, by the way. Yeah, so yeah, we do. Right, you guys go do. Opens. Talk to you later, uh, Tom. 
Love you, Tom. Thank you for being on the show. Adios. Do some Dude. open someone. Justin, in all I'm seriousness, not the producer, so I don't even. Know. I feel like legit terrible. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the after show apparently is working, but I'm way mad that even plugged in over Ethernet, it you know wasn't always working. Man, it all worked out. We're all good. So uh, do the intro. You, uh, what's the name of the show going to be? What do you think? A uh, magical train wreck, a true horror story, tech nude today. Uh, do we want it to be the first annual creep ass Halloween special? Yes. All right. Here we go. Got it. This is NSFW recorded on October 31st, 2012. The first annual creep ass Halloween special brought to you by Mail Round. There's a little bit of Skype jumping um, Got in it. 2012. And it's episode 151. What did I say? You didn't say anything. Uh, 34. Got it. Mm. This is NSFW episode 151 recorded on Halloween 2012. The first annual Creep-Ass Halloween special. That was perfect. Thanks. Yeah. All right. The first annual Creep Ass Halloween special is brought to you by Mail Route. Email filtering in the cloud for companies and resellers of any size. Mail Route offers live human support and one click sign up. For free postini migration and 10% off the life of your account, visit mailroute.net. Click the sign up button and enter the promo code. NSFW. Mail Postini. The episode brought to you by Mail Route. And no bespoke. No. no but no if bespoke. I was going to read it, I would say. It would sound like. <laughs> What is going on? Uh, who knows? Uh, that is a special from Dr. Zach Holder. He got his doctorate in awesome. He got his doctorate in making you jizz your pants. That's what he got his... It's a dual doctorate. You think I'm pink? Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> I, I didn't what? play the rest what? of it. What? I didn't play the rest of it. The sporker treats us. Oh, so that's what's in my pants. <laughs> uh... Well, Brian, you know, dude, I, 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 it sounds like it was a good show. I'm going to go to bed still feeling guilty, but, uh, for the internet thing, but uh, man, I'll tell happens. you what, I mean, my internet's crapped out a bunch and you've held things together. So, uh, I, at the end of the one. day, only one thing matters and that's that Romney Malco left and apparently left this. Exactly. Uh, and so he can you go have and to drive home tomorrow or fly home tomorrow, right? Yeah, so a little bit. To, you have to drink all that right now. No, I can put it in my checked luggage, Chad. I'm not sure. What you're oh on. yeah, you're on a um, you're doing a. Dude, a do you thing, know who not was? Thing. Do you know? You know who who was here at Devlearn was Will, the guy who made the design for the Diamond Club shirts that we used this year. Oh, cool. What? It was amazing, man. It was like it was cool to see like genuine Diamond Club members there just for the conference. Uh, and this conference has been amazing, man. I'm so stoked to go and meet everyone uh, at this party that I'm supposed to go to. All right, ready to go to reruns? Dos Vidania. I don't know what that means, but I think that means that you're ready to do some reruns. Uh, talk to y'all later. I love you. 
Bye. 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 Like, oh, it's, let his beard grow really woolly. <laughs> really that was your quickly. joke on iPad today where you're like, yeah, I'm wearing a hat.